Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Well, I've been away for a month. I still have a bit of jet lag, but I thought I better try and get a recipe on. Um, when I was away in, in Thailand, I actually went to Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam, and it was an amazing trip. Uh, I ate a lot of soup, um, and I thought, today I wanted some asparagus soup. So we're going to make a low-carb asparagus soup. Um, I'm hoping that I might put some other recipes on, some Thai recipes, but that's going to take a bit of time to figure it out and everything else. So in the meantime, we're going to make a low-carb as asparagus soup. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. The first thing we're going to do is get yourself a nice sized pot for your soup. And we're going to put in two tablespoons of salted butter. We're going to let that melt and we're going to add one large chopped onion into the pot and we're going to saute it. I'm going to add in one crushed garlic clove and I actually used a very large one so you could use two small ones. I'm just going to get this all nice and sautéed and I love the smell of cooked garlic. We're going to add in four cups of chicken broth and this is the chicken broth that I use. I get it at Costco. I buy a lot of stuff at Costco and uh, basically that's the whole container and it's 946 mils. So it's four cups. So we'll just pour this in. Then we're going to add in our asparagus and we're going to let it boil. Now I used a pound and a half of asparagus. I chopped, I chopped, you know, a lot of it, but there's still bigger chunks. If you can make them small, small chunks, that would be perfect because we're going to end up pureeing it anyway and if the smaller the better make it a little easier when you're pureeing the soup so we're going to let this boil and cook until all the asparagus is thoroughly cooked and I'll be back with you so my asparagus is all cooked and now I want to puree it so I use my ninja machine and I'm just going to put my asparagus into the machine and about this much I'm going to put in and then we're going to puree it get the lid on it and we're going to have to be careful because of the pressure Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to empty it into a pot for now, like a different pot, till I get all of the asparagus pureed. So I'll continue doing that till I get it all done, then I'll throw it back into the big pot and um, we'll go from there. So I'm going to pour my pureed asparagus soup back into my big pot and then we will put it back on the stove and we'll add the other ingredients. So I've got the burner on and the soup is starting to bubble a little bit. We're going to add three quarter cup of cream, Philadelphia cream cheese. And I just put it into chunks just so it'll, it'll melt easier, faster. So we'll just stir that till that's all melted. Now I want to add salt and pepper, but I always like to leave it to the end just to see what, um, how much I want to have in the soup. So that's what I recommend with you is to um, get it all cooked and then add the salt. Pepper is not a big deal, it's that salt is to whether you need it or not. So now that I've got most of the cream cheese dissolved, 
I'm going to add in a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream, 35%. Now, like I said, this is the last step other than we're going to add in some salt and pepper. So I've already tasted it. I feel like it needs a little more salt. It needs some salt in it since the only salt basically that is in here is from the salted butter. So I'm just going to add in some salt for taste and a little bit of pepper. down there. And then our soup is ready to serve. I haven't seen my one daughter and my grandkids there for over a month now so they're coming over for supper so guess what they're having? Asparagus soup to start. Anyway, let's get it served so we can give it a taste. So here is my low-carb asparagus soup. Absolutely delicious. I love it. Mm, great flavor. And just do some taste. Decide whether or not you want to add some more salt and pepper in it. Um, other than that, it's delicious. I had taken and um, kept a couple of the asparagus tips that I just put on the top they were already cooked for decoration just to make it a little pretty but it's quite tasty. I think you'll really enjoy it. Anyway if you'd like to uh, try this recipe go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com try this low carb asparagus soup and try some of my other recipes. We'll see you soon. I'm hoping I'm going to make a bread recipe next um, it's pretty awesome. I've made it once and I'm going to do it for you guys. So you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.